Dylan Sprouse and his twin brother Cole were child stars best known for The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. While Cole is back in the spotlight as Jughead in the hit series Riverdale, Dylan is still mostly flying under the radar. Here's how Dylan is living his best life away from the spotlight. People can be unkind when a well-known actor is discovered working a non-actorly gig. Dylan learned this the hard way when, in 2013, he was found whipping up lattes in the East Village's Mudspot Cafe and Restaurant. As the Daily Mail not-so-elegantly put it, former Disney star forced to deny he's broke after being photographed working as a restaurant host. Vulture even reported that his presence at the coffee shop startled several customers. Dylan explained, I think they were just confused. I was just doing what I impulsively thought I needed to do, and I knew I'd have a great time doing it. His reasons for working at the shop were far from salacious. In 2013, he told Access Online he was interested in learning more about the restaurant industry, and that he also needed, quote, some pocket cash on the side to pay off his video game habits. He went on to say, Popular media dictates that anything besides acting is a step down. I personally love to stay busy and keep my work ethic up, and I thought this was a really cool opportunity to do that. In May 2015, Dylan and Cole Sprouse graduated with honors from NYU, as E! Online reported. During his time at the university, Dylan primarily studied video game design, creative writing, and figurative painting, according to the New York Post. On graduation day, Dylan shared since-deleted photos of him and Cole decked out in billowy gowns and caps with gold tassels. In the caption, he wrote, Smarter, better, faster, stronger. Finished NYU, now on to the next. Dylan's college experience was an unusual one. He certainly didn't waltz through the hallways undetected. In September 2015, Seventeen Magazine published an article entitled, what happens when your celeb crush lives in the dorm room next to yours? The piece detailed a certain female student's experiences sharing a wall with Dylan Sprouse. However, the contents don't exactly constitute a bombshell. According to the student, Dylan hung out with his roommates a lot and liked to listen to music. He didn't throw parties or have a parade of girls over. It's no wonder Dylan didn't come crawling back to Hollywood right after graduating college. Both he and his brother Cole have been acting, quite literally, since they were in diapers. We were very annoying little children, so it was hard to ignore us. In fact, People reports they'd both starred in diaper commercials even before their first birthdays. The two brothers also took turns playing a five-year-old orphan in Adam Sandler's 1999 hit Big Daddy. I go now. Hey, didn't you pee enough in bed already? And they both played the role of Patrick Kelly on ABC's Grace Under Fire for five seasons. You want to help me? What kind of job should I get? You should get to work right away! According to E! Online, Dylan wrote in a now-deleted Instagram post from June 2016, The project that I do next needs to be good, or the character needs to be something different from what I've done before. At the time, he claimed he was setting his sights on projects that were somehow more provocative than, say, the sweet life of Zack and Cody. He added, It's actually the only thing I stress about. What thing do I have to show people I'm doing next? What legacy am I leaving? If Sprouse hasn't been on your radar lately, that's partially by design. He seems to innately gravitate towards left-field projects, perhaps because he's been wholly submerged in the mainstream for the better part of his life. Oh, I got some <laughs> That's so rad. Talking about his brother Cole's ongoing stint on the CW's Riverdale, Dylan told Vulture, I think Cole's in a place where he's very happy right now, whereas I would be happy as doing more films with a lower budget. In June 2018, Flaunt reported that Dylan was starring in the short film Carte Blanche, alongside Suki Waterhouse, which the magazine described as, quote, a surrealist exploration of the psychology of sudden fame. In the 2017 film Dismissed, Dylan portrays a sociopathic student willing to do whatever it takes to get that gold star. I know I want to go to Harvard because there's no use in doing anything unless you can be the very best at it. Meanwhile, he also stars in the quirky rom-com Banana Split that premiered at the LA Film Festival in September 2018. As he told Vulture, I tend to enjoy roles that I very closely identify with. Fringe people and complicated characters, who might even be bad guys. In August 2018, Sprouse revealed in a since-deleted Instagram post that he'd been working on a secret project with pop star Camila Cabello, according to Teen Vogue. It turned out to be an appearance in the music video for Cabello's single, Consequences, which was posted to YouTube in October 2018. The lushly produced video begins with Cabello taking a brisk stroll through Central Park in fall, but there's a problem. She keeps getting interrupted by a very handsome ghost. The specter taunts Cabello with memories of some bygone romance, and the whole thing is quite effectively bittersweet. In case you haven't guessed, the supernatural entity is played by Dylan, a fact that could easily be lost on some of his old-school fans. 
In a tweet that finds Cabello opening up about her artistic process, the singer makes sure to include a shout-out to Dylan, saying, in part, My videos are pretty much what the inside of my brain looks like. This is what it looked like in my brain while I was trying to move on. Thank you, Dylan Sprouse, for being amazing and wanting to be in my video. That's so sweet. On October 3, 2018, editors at Refinery29 gently informed their readers that we need to talk about Dylan Sprouse and Barbara Palvin. It looked like Dylan was officially in a relationship with Palvin, a Hungarian model who was named Rookie of the Year by Sports Illustrated back in 2016. If you scour Barbara Palvin's Instagram account, you'll find plenty of provocative clues as to how this super cute relationship has been playing out. Refinery29 even figured out that, quote, Sprouse officially made the grid in August. Introduce yourself, baby. Oh, hi, I'm <laughs> Dylan. And uh, this He's is... He's well trained. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Similarly, the pop culture sleuths over at Cosmo Cosmopolitan revealed that the couple was, quote, not holding back on the canoodling while attending the Harper's Bazaar Icons party in September 2018. Now we're gonna go home and get changed because we're going to play pinball. <laughs> if you happen to find yourself in New York City, consider taking the L train to Williamsburg to spend a few hours at All Wise Meadery, the brewery co-founded by the one and only Dylan Sprouse. In celebration of our first batch fermenting in All Wise Meadery, we have made some brewer's hats that we wear uh, at the space ourselves. To hear him say it, Dylan will be on the premises quite a bit, explaining to the New York Post that he wanted All Wise Meadery to be his primary source of income. That way, he'd be able to focus on taking more left-to-center roles in projects that are, quote, more artistically in his ballpark. He went on to share, The things that you do are your prayer. Having my friends and loved ones drink and talk and be merry is spiritual to me. Sprouse is tired of all the questions. According to E! Online, he confessed in a now-deleted Instagram post from June 2016, It's a weird thing to be asked, what are you doing now? Normally, I wouldn't think twice. Dylan admitted that he decided to speak up because he'd been asked this particular question four times that day. He said he wished he could satisfy fans' ghoulish curiosity with an honest answer, which would be, I've been enjoying myself by relaxing, traveling, consuming media, and continuing to learn. For whatever reason, people never find that response quite delicious enough. He went on to explain, The truth is that, unless I'm doing something bigger and better than what I've previously done, people deem it regressive. Is Dylan the only person who realizes the sweet life of Zack and Cody isn't the toughest act to follow? <laughs> that's, that's a good one. <laughs>